How's it going guys? So for this biochemistry question, what you should do generally with NBME cues is to glance at the answer choices first. You can see they're all glycogen related, enzymatic, uh, verbose answers. And then you glance at the last couple lines and you can see they're asking about glycogen accumulation. So you, we know we're dealing with the glycogen storage disease type question here. Now, you don't have to get lost in all of the heavy descriptors within the vignette. The way you're gonna answer this question is you're going to just say, look, we've got a sick kid here who has hypoglycemia. The serum glucose is low. He's got lactic acidosis. Okay, we have increased uric acid triglycerides. It's not mandatory. You could say it's due to impaired gluconeogenesis. Okay, so the triglycerides are liberated in the circulation to compensate. It's not so important. Basically, we can summarize this so far as Glycogen store disease where it's a sick kid with hypoglycemia and lactic acidosis. And you say, well, which one is that going to be then? Which diagnosis? That's going to be von Gierke disease. We know that. Okay, and we're going to walk through the other glycogen store diseases and easily eliminate them. Choice A, accumulation of abnormally branched glycogen due to defective branching enzyme. Wrong fucking answer. This is actually Anderson disease. You have some, it's glycogen store disease type 4. You have somebody who's not going to mention it. And you'll notice in resources, it's sort of weird, right? Like they mentioned types one, two, three, four is just somehow missing and then five, right? But branching enzyme, not debranching. It's Anderson disease, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, deficiency of glucose 6-phosphatase, impairing both glycogenolysis, gluconeogenesis, correct answer. So that's, isn't that von Gierke disease, glucose 6-phosphatase deficiency, autosomal recessive? Not that hard, right? Let's just eliminate the others. We say, okay, let's just be 100% sure. Choice B, fuck am I saying? Choice C, impaired glycogen breakdown due to deficiency of muscle glycogen phosphorylase, aka myophosphorylase, glycogen storage disease type 5, McArdle syndrome, wrong fucking answer. Well, the vignette's completely disparate, isn't it? Wouldn't it be a teenager or young adult who's got severe cramping or even rhabdo with intense exercise, wind sprinting, shoveling snow, right? That's how it presents. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D. Oh, and also, I'll just say that in McArdle, sometimes they can mention that venous lactate is normal. Okay, it's just a descriptor I've seen sometimes, as if that matters, that you don't have lactic, lactic acidosis in McArdle, but they'll just say venous lactate is normal. As I already said, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, inability to degrade glycogen within lysosomes due to acid alpha glucosidase deficiency. So alpha 1,4 glucosidase, also known as lysosomal acid maltase, is Pompeii syndrome. That's going to be the answer in Yosemite if they give you a kid with a glycogen store disease where there's a heart problem. It's 100% a question. So we look at this vignette and you say, it's a sick kid though. Do they mention anything about the heart? No. So we've got lactic acidosis, hypoglycemia, that's von Gierke, okay, as we talked about. So they can also say, uh, give you give you the heart issue with Pompeii, cardiomyopathy in the kid, and then the answer can be lysosome because it's actually the location of the glycogen storage disease enzyme. Okay, it's not a lysosomal storage disease, but it's located in the lysosome. Okay, just you got to retain that detail, whereas the others are in the cytosol. Choice D, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, Milder fasting hypoglycemia due to branching enzyme deficiency with normal lactate levels around the fucking answer. This is Cori syndrome, glycogen storage disease, type 3. Okay, so you can think of this one as a milder form of von Gierke. That's literally how it's memorized. So you'll get, you'll eliminate the others. You'll say it's clearly not McArdle. It's not the dude with exercise cramping. It's not the kid, it's not Pompeii. It's not the cardiomyopathy. And between von Gierke and Cori, you say, is it a sick kid with hypoglycemia lactic acidosis, von Gierke? No. Okay, is it a kid who doesn't have lactic acidosis and doesn't seem super sick? Yes, and that's going to be Cori. Okay, so that's off of 1,6 glucosidase deficiency. That's debranching enzyme. Okay, so when you're, uh, you have a tree-like structure for glycogen, and when you're chopping off the uh, glucose 1-phosphate monomers, when you're liberating for energy, when you get to terminal components of the branch, the last uh, component, and you're going to cleave it off, that's debranching enzyme. And if you can't do that, 
you're going to have these little stubs on the glycogen branch. They're called limit dextrins. We're getting into more technical detail right now. It's pass fail step one. Point is, wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'm two. Make more content. I'm so screeching. Appreciate your time. That's it.